Terraflex's Sierra Rear Cargo Rack Kit for the JL Wrangler provides additional storage that mounts inside the cargo area for the four-door Wrangler. The durable plastic tray can be adjusted to four different heights using the provided tool that attaches directly to the tray. Optional underlight and molly panels can be mounted underneath. Direction for installing these will be shown later in the video. Mounting holes for rotopax or similar mount can be found on the underside of the tray. The cargo rack mounts on the rear sport bars. Begin by removing the seatbelt mount and plastic coverings. You need to remove the upper covers to access the lower. Use a plastic panel remover tool so as not to damage the plastic covering. The lower cover attaches using small bolts. You may need to loosen the corner plastic cover to be able to remove the lower cover. The passenger lower cover has a wire harness attached to it. Be careful not to pull too forcefully on the passenger side. Once the lower cover is removed, you can replace the seatbelt mount and upper cover. To remove the clips on the pillar, insert a small flathead screwdriver into the top and push on the sides with a pick. The clip will come out, but sometimes it takes a little finagling. Assemble the brackets. Slide bolts through the hole with the small notch next to it. The notch allows the spacers to align correctly. Each spacer is left or right and upper or lower specific. A slotted T-nut will go on the end. Make sure the slot points towards the bracket. Install the brackets onto the pillar by inserting the T-nuts into the holes on the pillar and rotating the bolts and pulling back so the slots on the T-nuts lock into the hole on the pillar. Tighten down the hardware. We forgot to reinstall the upper cover, so we did it before tightening the bolts completely. Insert the spacers onto the tray. If it's a tight fit, then tap the spacers in with a mallet. Insert the drain plug. Lift the tray into place. The tray has four different height positions spaced two inches apart from each other. The lowest puts the tray at 17 and a half inches above the cargo area floor, and the highest goes up to 23 and a half inches from the floor. Insert the upper bolts to keep the tray in place. Place the nut plate on the back side and install the other two bolts. You can use a socket or the provided tool to tighten these bolts. The provided tool can be stored on the tray, so it's available if you need to remove the tray. If you are installing the optional light, then wait to install the tray until you have installed the light, or if you are installing the light later, then remove the tray from the brackets. You need to access the wire harness for the cargo area light, which is located behind the passenger side panel. Remove the cargo mat, then remove the mount panel by unbolting the three mounts. Remove the door seal. Remove the plastic panel by pressing in the latch. Pop off the lower seat belt cover. If you have a vehicle with a subwoofer, remove the small bolt in the corner by the rear seats. Remove the side panel by lifting on the small section of the floor and popping it up first and working around the panel. Once the panel is popped loose, you should be able to access the plug on the wire harness. Unplug the wire by pushing in on the button. 
Install the provided T-shaped wire harness. We used a zip tie to keep the connection from flopping around. You could also use tape if you don't have a zip tie handy. Reinstall the side panel. Just make sure that the unconnected end of the wire harness remains exposed. On the underside of the tray, install the light in the center where there are mounting holes and a little cutout for the wires. Attached to the wires are two clips to connect the wire to the bottom of the tray. Install the tray onto the brackets as shown earlier, then plug the light wire into the exposed end of the T wire harness. Leave this bit exposed so you can easily unplug the light should you desire to remove the tray later. To install the optional Molly panels, have the tray already installed on the vehicle. Take a bolt and a washer and insert them into the center of the panel, then place a spacer on top. Feed this screw into the center hole on the tray, and then repeat this for the four corners. You can install the Molly panel in any of the four corners on the tray, but they are sold in pairs. Once you have the tray and all the accessories installed, load it up with Overland gear. Thanks for watching.